Hello guys, in this video, we'll be adding filters to our expert. We're going to use indicator strategies to filter the entries of our robot. Now let's go to the chart and look at an indicator. Let's work with the moving average. You go on that trend, moving average. And set the period, let's say 45 and the method exponential. Shift zero, apply to the close price. The color, golden road. Okay. So let's say we want to only buy above, above this moving average and sell below the moving average. So we move to our robot that we built, last robot we built. And then we, first of all, set, allow the moving average parameters to be customizable so I'm going to put in a heading here called called uh, moving average parameters input string MAP moving average parameters and then the inputs required by a moving average parameters, a uh, moving average indicator, sorry. The inputs required are your period, method, shift, and the price. The price it is applied to. So I come here and I go int. The period is an integer. Int ma dash period to 14 and I can give it a name here moving average period and then next I have the um, method and the method is an enum it's a default enum that's provided by the mt4 platform so all you have to do is call the enum and pass it to a value so I'm going to say input enum dash here you can find a list of all the default enums of the mt4 platform but we're using the ma method here so in um, ma method make this organized i'll call it ma method and then the value will be mode dash ema mode ema means we're using the exponential moving average ema under the mode, you have mode SMA, mode, dub, mode um, LWMA, and other. But these are all the modes on MT, MT4. To see the modes that are accepted by MA method, you can press F1. You put your cursor on the MA method and you press F1. Then here you can see them. These are the modes that are acceptable. Mode SMA, simple average. Mode EMA, exponential average mode smma smoothing average lwma linear weighted average now this same thing can be done on any other default default method or a or a normal function that you don't understand so i'm going to use the mode ema which is the exponential moving average and say moving average method here then next we have the shift. Shift is just an integer, and what we used before is uh, what we used before is zero. So I'll assign zero here by default. I just copy and paste. Moving average shift. And then finally we have the moving average price. That's also an enum. Enum dot, dot applied price and if you go here if you go here okay you can press f1 on your applied price to see to see the let me use this okay these are your applied price this in um, applied price you have price close, open, high, low, median, typical, weighted. If you drop this, you can see these options here. So 
you give the user the ability to choose between any of those options by applying it here say equal to I'm going to go with price close which is default and moving average price I'm just going to push this out a bit to make it okay and now that we have all the parameters of the indicator let's pass them into the indicator now only this indicator has only one value as moving average has only one value if you press control you hold down control and press d you should see this this is your moving average and this is the current value of your moving average if you move your cursor along each candle you see the value changing now that value is the value of the moving average on that particular candle So what we want is the value of the moving average on this candle to open trades on this candle. So I'm going to come back to my platform and double MA val is equal to IMA symbol, current symbol. Uh, MA, IMA is the function that requests the moving average value for, for our EA. So it takes input symbol. Now, if you don't understand, you can read up on it. You just take your cursor here and press F1. F1. I don't know why mine is not working. But let's close this one and call it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you press, put your cursor on the IMA and you press F1, you should see a full explanation of what it does and the options the values it takes and what it represents so you can read up on that here and close back okay i'm going to put in the current symbol symbol means current symbol the next time frame put zero zero means current time frame period i'm going to put in our our period put in our shift put in our method and put in our price then the shift means the candle that we want to that we want values for now shift of zero means current candle shift of one means this candle here shift of two this candle three four five six seven eight nine ten like if you keep going back the shift keeps increasing so what we want is the value for this last candle here which is one I'm going to go back and say shift of one and close my bracket now ma val will always give us the value of the moving average for the previous candle previously closed candle now what we want to do is anytime we're above the moving average we want to buy below the moving average sell so if um, let's just say ask which is the current price current buy price is greater than ma val and if this is current bid price, which is sell price, is less than MA bar. And so our trade will only be taken when these three conditions are met. See the and here, and here. All conditions must be true for either buy to go or for sell to go. Now next, let's go back to our platform and let's use our tester if you go to expert properties you can see moving average parameters you can see them change them to any value you want then you have this you can set to any value you want the shift any value you want so click ok and you run your test um be sure to tick this so that you can see your tests on charts you can visualize your test by enabling that option this option here I'll just give it some time to update the history okay here it is it started and it's buying and selling
So at the end, let's see what happened. You can see our new condition is working. It's only buying above the moving average. Yeah, you can see a buy, 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 sell below. It only sells below the moving average and buys above the moving average. And this is how you filter using the moving average. If we go back here and we see the code, you see here, here we request the previous candle value of the moving average. And then here we check if our number is an even number. If that's an even number, no problem. Then we go on and we check if the price is above the moving average. And then we also check if the total number of trades is zero. Then we take a buy. If not, we come here, check if it's an odd number, check if the price is below the moving average, and we check if the total is zero. And that's basically how you filter using one moving average. I hope you understood this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the questions segment. I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.